name of the Father, and the, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Before setting out on the way of the cross, let us gaze on Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane as he surrenders to the Father's will. In this lonely hour while others sleep, Jesus came face to face with the Father in the deepest recesses of his heart. He asked the Father to relieve him of the horror that lies ahead, but in an act of surrender, he lifted his hands in prayer and gave himself over to the Father's will. This is a moment of anguish and soul-searching struggle. It is also a moment of luminous glory. It is here that Jesus glorified the Father by an act of complete self-surrender. He then began the way of the cross that led him to Calvary. We follow in his footsteps. At the cross her station keeping Stood the mournful mother weeping Close to Jesus to the last The first station Let us rest on Jesus condemned to death We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Here we stand members of the body, Lord Jesus Christ. We gaze upon your face, your body, weary and worn by betrayal. Accusation, abandonment, and unjust judgment. Look upon us and be merciful. We do have been misunderstood, judged unfairly, condemned by others for no good reason. We join you in your shame, your pain, your anguish, and we pray with you. Father, by, by the gift of your spirit, dwelling in our hearts, open us to us as Jesus trusted. Even as he is condemned to die, when we feel most alone, be with us and strengthen our hope. Amen. Through her heart his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing, now at length the sword has passed. The second station. Let us guys on Jesus taking up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Look, here I am before you, my own people, the weight of this cross cannot be measured. It is the weight of the solar sea, great hearted and revenge of others. It is the cost of announcing the good news of the kingdom of God to all who listen. Hear me when you are wrong for doing right when you are the target of anger and rev revenge, when you feel the burden of daily life and the duty, come to me ever loving Father as Jesus takes up his cross he shows us and now the way to life it is the path of peace and patience, humility and truth, and self-empty love. Lead us with him to the fullness of life never-ending. Oh, how 
sad and sore distressed was that mother highly blessed of the soul begotten one. The third station that us grace on Jesus fell in under his cross the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Here we stand, the members of your body, gazing down at the Savior of the world, falling in the dirt on a lonely road. You, our teacher and healer, fall under the wave of the cross. We, your people fell often. Suddenly our accomplishment, our reputation, our financial security, our health, our most cherished love once can fail and collapse. Allow us to struggle up with you even though the path leads to Calvary. Father, open, open our eyes to recognize Jesus Christ, Christ himself in those who are weak and wounded, those counted worthless in this world. Amen. Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath beholds the pain of her dying glorious son. The fourth station. Let us gaze upon Jesus seeing his mother Mary. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. There in the crowd Jesus sees the woman who gave him human life. Mary knew the time would come when the words would pierce her heart. Blessed is she among women. Blessed is she who hears the word of God and keeps it. Pondering the Father's love in her heart, she proclaims the greatness of the Lord even in this terrible meeting. Father of mercy, fill us with, with compassion, with, with Mary, the mother of Jesus, and our mother as well. Give us and close to those who suffer without respite. Strengthen us so that we may strengthen them. Is there one who would not weep, whelmed in misery so deep, Christ, dear Mother, to behold? The fifth station. Let us gaze upon Simon, helping Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Simon took no delight seeing Jesus manhandled towards the horror of the crucifixion. He was a bystander forced into service by the soldiers, helping Jesus carry his burden. Helping the man Jesus, Simon felt compassion grew in his own heart for him. Little did he know his service would be remembered down the centuries? Father of mercy, in silence we see someone like ourselves, busy with our lives. May we, like Simon, learn to have compassion upon those in need. Amen. And the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain, in that mother's pain untold. 
The sixth station. Let us gaze upon Veronica wiping the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus' face is covered with sweat, blood, and dust. Degraded and despised, Veronica, seeing her Savior in such a state, feels compassion and wipes the grime off of his countenance. May we see the image of Jesus not only in the veil of Veronica, but in the faces of the poor, those who are made dusty and splattered with blood by our society and our lack of compassion for them. By the presence and, and power, power of the, the Spirit, Spirit, increase our trust that our simple acts of mercy and concern for your people and your creation give you praise and leave their mark never to be bothered out. Amen. Bruce derided, cursed, defiled, she beheld her tender child, all with bloody scourges red. The seventh station, let us gaze upon Jesus failing once again. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. You stumble and fall once again, Lord. You must have been tempted to give it all up and give into despair. But you get up once again and pick up your cross and continue on the path to the place of execution. You set the dust of your face and find the strength to continue despite the swirling crowds and kill close of the whip. Father, the, the light of, of your spirit, spirit guides us, us on our ways as we struggle to the end of our time on this earth. When we fall, give us the courage to rise up and try again. Comfort us in the knowledge that Christ, your Son, fell under the weight of his burden, but got up and continued to the end. Amen. For the sins of his own nation Saw him hang in desolation Till his spirit forth he sent The Eighth Station Let us guide on Jesus Meeting the weeping women of Jerusalem We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your, your holy cross you have, have redeemed the world. Jesus speaks to these women only a few words. Do not weep for me. Weep for yourselves and for your children. He is telling them, to be aware of their own inner pain and the pain of others. That is why Jesus took up his cross in the first place to begin the healing of the human heart, indeed of the entire universe, by the compassion that these women of Jerusalem expressed to Jesus. They come to share in that love that alone triumphs over the power of evil and sin. Through the gift of the Spirit, may we 
like the weeping women of Jerusalem, share in the passion and suffering of Christ, and respond with the same self-giving love. Amen. O oh, the mother font of love, touch my spirit from above. Make my heart with thine accord. The night station. Let us gaze upon this earth falling the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Approaching Calabria, this earth falls once again. Falling and knowing there is nothing more to do but let himself go into the hands of those who will trip and nail him to the tree on which he must die. Barely able to move, Jesus lost the last shred of his human dignity and awaits the dear unfolding of the will of his Father. By the gift of your Spirit, when we are in the end of our world, give us the courage to turn everything we are and all that we do into your loving hands. O Father, knowing that the cross is not only to Calvary, but do it to the gifts of joy never ending. Amen. Make me feel as thou hast felt. Make my soul to glow and melt with the love of Christ my Lord. The tenth station. Let us gaze upon Jesus being stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The humiliation of having others underrest him and reveal his precious body to the yearling, yearling crowd and almost the last humiliation Jesus had to endure before being nailed to the cross as a common criminal. Even the clothing on his back, made by his mother's hands, was an object of jest and scorn, with soldiers rolling their dice for it. We remember all those who live without the love and support that gives life value and purpose in this poor of the earth and in the beaten world of itself. Something positive can come into being. Something good can come even after such humiliation and suffering at the hands of an indifferent world. Amen. Holy Mother, pierce me through, in my heart each wound renew, of my Savior crucified. The Eleventh Station let us gaze upon Jesus as he is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The precious human blood of Jesus drenches the wood of the cross. It drops into the earth below this symbol of shame and the degradation. It takes on the suffering of the human family and of the earth itself. Jesus, in shedding his blood, becomes indeed one of us, 
our brother and our savior. Father in heaven, your beloved Son accepted the cruel death that others put him to. He did not try to escape from the pain of suffering. Through the gift of your Spirit, enable us to alleviate the sufferings of others and to accept our own as a share in Christ's past to the life without end that you promised to us. Amen. Let me share with thee his pain, who for all my sins was slain, who for me in torment died. The Twelfth Station let us gaze upon Jesus as he dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Only a few stay beneath the cross as Jesus comes to the end of his life. Feeling abandoned by his father, he asked his beloved disciple to care for his loving mother, forgiving a fellow criminal his sins and promising him heavenly bliss in heaven. Jesus suffers thirst. Soon he bows his head and dies. Almighty Father, our Father, Jesus knew the abandonment of the cross, suffering even the fear of losing your love. Help us to see your face in our own hour of darkness. Help us to sustain our belief in you. As we breathe our last, may we surrender ourselves into your hands without reservation and confidence in your promises. Amen. Let me mingle tears with thee, mourning him who mourned for me, all the days that I may live. The Thirsting Station Let us gaze upon Jesus being taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have been in the world. The broken, torn, and mutilated body of Jesus is placed back into the outstretched hands of his mother Mary. Those few faithful disciples who remained still in shock and disbelief, could not abandon the broken Jesus and his grief-stricken mother. At least some did not flee at the end of Jesus' earthly life. Father in heaven, Your beloved Son accepts the, the cruel as others put him to. He did not try to escape from the pain or suffering. Through the deep of the Spirit, enable us to alleviate the sufferings of others and to accept our own as a share in Christ's path to the life with our end that you promised to us. Amen. By the cross with thee to stay, there with thee to weep and pray, all I ask of thee to give. The Fourth in Station Let us guys upon Jesus being laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, 
and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus has become the lifeless grain of wheat which produces abundant fruit for every age and all time. From his tomb, light will shine forth in every generation, calling the whole world to faith, to hope and to love. That love that will outlast all of the suffering and pain we know on this earth and will last for all eternity. Loss of life, love, love all home, family, family health, relationships, and even hope can wound us deeply and break us apart. We pray for the strength of to one another, especially during those times of doubt, confusion, and hopelessness. Spirit of God, strengthen us and keep our faith strong and pure. May the love of Christ be ours, that you love us as our own being. Amen. Virgin of all virgins best, listen to my fond request. Let me share thy grief divine. The fifth station. Let us guide upon Jesus, risen from the dead. Alleluia. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Now after the Sabbath, at its begun to dawn, toward the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to look at the grave. An angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and brought away the stone and set up it. And his appearance was like lightning, and his clothing as white as snow. The angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who has been crucified. He is not here, for he has risen, just as he said. Come, see the place where he was laying. Go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. And behold, he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. Behold. I have taught you. Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. 